My name is Mint Morris. I'm a guitarist and educator out of Austin, Texas. What you just heard was a Roy Nichols solo over the Western swing song, Roly Poly. This is a preview for my next Skype workshop that will be taking place in July. Over the course of four weeks, we'll look at four different Roy Nichols solos over the songs Roly Poly, Corinne Corinna, Right or Wrong, and Old Fashioned Love. We'll analyze his different licks and pick apart how he addresses the chord changes and then make a real effort to try and make some of those licks our own by editing and altering them. For when the course dates are and how much and how to register, please see the description below. What we're going to do in the meantime as a little preview of how I teach is talk about the opening lick to Roly Poly. We're in the key of G and we're going to the four chord. Two bars of G into the C chord. What Roy does is set up a neat lick where he plays off of the 5 of the G chord. For those of you in the, uh, doing the cage system, this is out of our A shape, or any kind of shape system for that matter. He's playing the 5 and then coming down going 3, 2, 1, B, A, G, and then going back up, 2, 3. So 5, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. And then we still have beats left to fill before we got to get to the four chord, he's playing the sixth, the E. And then keeping the rest of the pattern the same. So you have a really nice voice leading. And then that would resolve right into our C chord right here. So that's the Roy Nichols lick. It's pretty simple. You can hear guys like Junior Bernard and Tiny Moore do this as well. A cool thing to do though with this lick is to imply an augmented chord in the middle of that. Um, if you don't know what an augmented chord is, that's okay. What we can think of it is as raising the fifth by a half step until we get to the sixth. So what we can do here, keep that the same, but instead of going to the E, let's go to the E flat or the, the D sharp. So we have a nice sound there, nice chord, which will get us to C. So check this out. We'll go. And right there on the C chord. Now we can do it a couple different ways. We can do what I just did and go. Or we could go. All sorts of different ways. We could go to the G first. And so on. So that's an example of how I would teach a lick and then go, okay, so let's make something different out of it. But still, we can easily hear the original lick going. And so on. So that's what we'll do over the uh, uh, course of four weeks. We'll break apart Roy Nichols solos and learn them together and then make them our own. Uh, all of these solos will be in PDF form and we'll have a full uh, speed version as well as a reduced speed version in an audio file. And additionally, if you have to miss a Skype um, chat, that's okay. I record all of them and send them out each week after our chat. So please see the descriptions for a little more info and then please get in contact with me and register. I'd like to see you there. Thank you.